unable to keep up with the who, the when, the why, and the how. Well, lucky for you, it's a little late, but this is last week's news now. <laughs> What's up guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you stopped by. And if you're brand new, welcome. Grab a seat, stay a while, but do me a couple favors first. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Go next door, ring that bell. Make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up. Hit that like button. And before you head out, drop a comment. And if you're one of the regulars here, welcome back for another round. I ask that you also hit that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment. Because YouTube does love the comments. And of course, share the video out on all social media. All right, fundraiser still going through the 20th of this month. Link will be down below in the description. Get yourself some Joker Voice merch. All proceeds going to benefit the Stuttering Foundation of America. And quick shout, quick shout out. Thank you, uh, Blake on Dork Wars for ha for having me on. Always a great time talking about Christmas specials from Doctor Who, along with myself and Beard of Liberty team. Definitely check out Do Dork Wars. Great time talking last night. All right, it's Monday. And we are winding down the year. And if you can b believe it, this is the 49th episode of this. Wow, this has been a lot of fun do doing this. If you want, if 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 you like this and would like to see it can continue ne next year, let me know as well down below in the com comments. And again, we're just going to talk about a few stories you might have missed in the world of entertainment and pop culture. All links will be down below in the description. Let's go go and here we go all right our first story we're just going to talk talk about the numbers for the weekend weekend the box office and this comes from the numbers um and this story ties into my second little story so just laying some groundwork here um where so in this past week, weekend two brand new releases took two of the top three spots. Uh, the top spot went to Beyonce in her concert vi her con con concert film distrib distributed by AMC, which brought in $21 million. Taylor Swift's film did four times that amount, but we won't talk about that. Um, the H Hunger Games prequel continues to have a sol solid hold, maintaining... 50% of its audience from the, from, from the weekend before, good enough for the number two spot. And a kaiju film, a kaiju film, Godzilla Minus One, debuts with a surprising $11 million. Uh, side note, the Marvels in its fourth of the weekend has dropped out of the top ten. Globally, still under... Two hundred million dollars. How's that MCU doing there? So, the second the second story is I had mentioned in my twenty twenty three review last week of some of the top top films that I saw. I'm going to add one to this right here in a very quick non spoiler re review, and that is Godzilla minus one. Who? Wow. Damn. Um, definitely need to add it to the, 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 this list. In my opinion, this is the best film of 2023. Non-spoilers, but this film has a little bit of everything. You've got action. You've got great writing. You've got terror. You've got impending doom, suspense, anguish, even a slight touch of romance. All in all, for this film to be... To be at a spend somewhere between fifteen to thirty-five million dollars. That's it. Ugh. Eight and a half out of ten. Absolutely must see film. Now we're gonna go over to bounding into comics, and as Godzilla minus one is something you must see. Um, the anniversary, sixtieth anniversary episodes of Doctor Who. Would be something you must avoid. Um, if you're a fan of Do 
Doctor Who as the first of the three 60th anniversary specials from the BBC and Disney. You heard you heard it right, Disney. Um, David maybe debuted last week. Uh, Russell T. Davis came back coming back as showrunner, brought back some hope, adding in David Tennant and Cat. Catherine Tate as the doctor and Don, Donald Noble for the appropriate for the appropriate measure of key jangling and nostalgia. But what we got was a on the nose male bashing down with the patri- patriarchy trans allegory. Even the BBC, even the BBC in their review called this episode preachy. Quoting critical drinker, calling it merely a vessel for the message. Speaking of Disney, um, we're going to go over to the New York Post. And to say that Disney CEO Bob Iger hasn't had the best year since coming back, it's a bit of an understatement. Um, in a in a recent statement uh, to Nelson Pitt, Else's try and fund man- management group. Uh, Nelson Peltz, for those you know, is a active in- is an active investor who is dissatisfied with the direction Disney is going and is looking for a seat on the board to help course co- co- correct. Well, Disney told the try and management group that they're welcome to visit with the board. But they will not be given board seats. In another statement, uh, citing, cited Peltz's asso- association with former Marvel boss Ike Perlmutter as the reason for this move being taken. Uh, Peltz, who has control of $3 billion of Disney stock, is now taking his fight to the shareholders directly in a full on proxy war. Um, this will probably culminate in about April-ish when the a- annual shareholders meeting where they elect the new board. Oh, but wait, there's more. Talking with Variety now. At the New York Times Deal Book Summit, Bobby was asked why Disney and other companies as well have decided to pull their advertising from Twitter, X, Twix, whatever you you want to call it. Iger gave a very standard, and I'm paraphrasing here, I have a lot of respect for Elon, but some of his public opinions are not positive and simply don't align with us, blah, 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 blah. Well, the very next person to be interviewed was Elon Musk. (laughs) <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard it already, folks, who, when asked about what Bob Iger said, responded with, you're going to threaten me with advertising, with the money? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Is that clear? That's a direct quote. I'm just going to say. Kind of makes you cry a little, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, Merry Christmas, Bobby. But anyway, those are some stories you might ha- have missed. Check me out tonight. I will be on Legion Talk, 7 p.m. P- 7 p.m. Pacific, going back to the world of Westeros, Game of Thrones, Season 6, Episodes 5 and 6, uh, Thursday with Roman of the Empire for another free for another free range chill stream and then back with Legion Talk again Friday 7 p.m. Pacific for Friday Night's Royal Rumble. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, folks. Again, quick reminder before you head out out the door, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hey, thanks for sticking around this long. I appreciate that. I will see you all very soon. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Have a great week ahead of you, folks. And always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Toodles. I'm